Now this is a clock out of an SR54 runner. Also fits perfectly into the Toyota pickup trucks. It's going to take the place of this little panel right there. And it's a little bit more intricate. You have to take the dash apart, starting with the glove box. So let's go ahead and get this removed. Got a Phillips screw, one, two. You have a third one right here. And I believe there's, oh, you're gonna have to take off this one right here. This is a 10 millimeter bolt. So get those four removed. There was actually five, I'm sorry, four screws, one bolt. The one bolt was down there. And the other screws I mentioned, plus one more screw right underneath the latch for the glove box. And then you can get the glove box removed. Once you have that removed, yours should have the little clips here. You basically have to pop them from the inside and pull them out a little bit. Mine's missing both. After that, it just has this little clip which slides in. So go ahead and get that piece pulled out. The next thing I'm removing is the surround to the key. I don't know if you can see, but I slide in that in there. I'm able to pop it off. Next, we're gonna move the lower panel under the steering column. We need to remove this because we need to get to this piece, essentially, so we can get to the clock. So you have a screw here, one, second one here, third one there, fourth one there, 10 millimeter bolt here, and you have the two screws which hold the hood latch release here. Next, you're gonna to wanna to remove all the buttons for your climate control, and go ahead and start prying out the faceplate of it. Should be able to get in here, kind of pry at it a little bit. It's gonna wanna come up. There we go. And it'll kind of angle out, and the AC uh, switch can come out if you wanna pull it out. It'll probably be easier to put it back in if it's removed. And go ahead and disconnect the faux plug for the clock. Just like that. Now when I was doing, the reason I did that, I was pulling my dash apart and the piece started coming out already. And that's what I need to get removed so I can get uh, the clock placed in here. After you have that piece removed, this piece is almost free now. You have a screw right up in here and this clip already came out when I was pulling on the lower panel. And there's one more in here that if you use this, use a little pick, you'll be able to get in here and pop it. So let's get the screw removed first. And Use the pick. It should be up there. It goes. And just wiggle it around a little bit, and it'll fall straight out. Now, looking at it from this angle, you're gonna see this is exactly where the clock is gonna screw into. It actually fits perfectly on there. I'm gonna find two screws to put in there. I think I have replacement ones that I took when I got the clock from the junkyard. So let me get those mounted on real quick. And before putting it back together, go ahead and plug it in. Make sure it works. Get mine plugged in. There it is. Check your buttons. Yeah, everything works on it. So we're gonna go ahead and get it installed back together. Your next step, you're gonna need to remove uh, the plate. I would get like a really sharp razor blade, that's what I'm gonna do. Cut off the little tabs, cause it's not completely held down. So these four little pieces of plastic which hold the plate there. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim those out so that way it can uh, fit through for the clock now. And that's exactly what I did. Used blade clipped off all four little little pieces. Now when this slides on there, 
it'll fit perfectly for the clock. Let's get it back together and I'll get one final look at it. Here's a final look at the clock, how it sits. Perfect fit, love it. Really like having the clock in the car. Still having to wait for this to show up on the stereo. Cool little upgrade, very simple install. Now I have the cluster, the clock, and the dome light out of an SR5 4Runner. Thanks for watching.